Hello everybody, welcome to the new Let's Play from Cheeky Plays. Uh, in, in this Let's Play we're going to be playing Castlevania Symphony of the Night. I have been told about this game so much over the years, and I've been wanting to play it so much over the years, and I know a lot of you want more retro, so here you go. This was originally released on the PS1 in 1997, as far as I know and uh, basically continues the story of Castlevania, but don't worry if you haven't played any others, this is kind of a separate story from what I know. It sort of picks up where I think uh, the previous game was Ronda of Blood, um, which I also have, but I decided to play this because it's got the legendary sort of status to it, so uh, we're going to dive right in. I'm playing the PS4 version of Castlevania, uh, Symphony of the Night, which is the Requiem um, set which also comes with Rondo of Blood but like I said I wanted to play this so I've played literally nothing of Castlevania <laughs> ever so this is all very new to me and like I say I've played games like it like um, uh, you, you know I've played Hollow Knight I've played Oddworld I've played uh, Blasphemous these are the games that were inspired by Castlevania Castlevania was was where it started and this wasn't the first game, but it was the um, it was one of the highlights for a lot of people, and a lot of people recognise Symphony of the Night as the best Castlevania game, or one of the best. Uh, also, this is the term where which helped give birth to Metroidvania to a lot of people. So uh, a lot of people um, compare this and Super Metroid as the uh, quintessential Metroidvania experience. So without any more rambling. Let's get cracking. So we've got uh, we've got to select uh, an option. So let's go with select file. As you can see, it's a completely blank slate. I have not done anything yet. So let's hit up with a new game. Oh, a name selection. Okay. We are GK. Exclamation point! Exclamation point! Journey back to 1792 in the Transylvanian countryside of Romania. And while we're doing that, I'm going to close the door. That castle is huge. Oh, I'm excited. Really excited. The amount of people that wanted me to play this. Okay. So I'm assuming this is Dracula's castle, right? Because that's what it's all about, right? Final stage. Oh, wow. Look at this. Oh, that's... Oh, that's wicked. Okay. I'm just sort of getting used to the control. So... Look at those graphics. Oh, God, that music. Oh, God, that swelled quickly. <laughs> okay, so there's a little bit I do know from reading instruction manuals and stuff. So, health bar, sub-item, and hearts. Hearts are not health points. They are actually used for your uh, sub-weapon. I'll explain all in a bit. Die now and leave this world. You'll never belong here. Oh, but this world invited me. Your own kind called me forth with praise and tribute. Tribute? You're a thief. You steal men's souls, their freedom. Freedom is always sacrificed to faith, good hunter. Or are you truly here by choice? All I'm here for is you. To hell with your heresy! You're nothing but a blight on mankind. Ha! Mankind. A oh. cesspit of hatred and lies. Oh. Them, and die for their sins. Are we going to fight Dracula already? Okay. Have we got to go for the head? Oh, that music. 
Ah, okay. Okay. Oh, that's the sub weapon, okay. I'm guessing this is giving us a taste of what it's like to be all powerful. Oh, wow! Oh, okay, we can go for his knees now. Oh, we're in him! We're in him! Who's this? Okay. So, are we meant to die? Oh, okay, I'm invincible. Wow, okay. So Dracula's done already? Count Dracula oh. had risen with the aid of the Dark Priest Shaft to menace humanity once again. The legendary vampire hunter, Richter Belmont, stood against him and at last brought him down. However, four years later, on a glaring full moon night, Richter mysteriously vanished. Maria Renard set out to find him, but knew not where to begin. It was then that fate intervened. Castlevania, the castle of Dracula, rumored to appear once every century, suddenly materialized from the mist, as if to show her the way. Meanwhile, powerful forces struggled for the soul of a man named Alucard. He who had once fought alongside Trevor Belmont against his own immortal father, Count Dracula himself. To purge the world of his own cursed bloodline, Alucard had submerged his vampiric powers and fallen into what was meant to be eternal slumber. But now, he awakens to the cackles of evil and cries of the innocent. The eternal battle of good and evil has come full circle once more. Dracula's castle beckons for you. And no man can say who will emerge victorious. Wow. So, Castlevania is the castle of Dracula. Okay. Wow, what a start. So, I'm guessing that was the end of the previous game, which I, I believe is Rondo of Blood. I, I've been told. Oh, okay. Ooh. Oh. oh, that's cool. Okay, with somebody else. Oh, we're Alucard. So this is Dracula's son. Okay, we'll go through all that in a bit. Now, I was talking about this before. So, basics. Uh, HP and hearts are in the top left. Uh, hearts are not your health. Hearts power your sub-weapon. Which was the cross thing I was using. Uh, and the next set is a mana bar. Ooh. Oh, okay. Are these meant to be that easy? So, I'm, I'm guessing Alucard is vampiric then. I mean, look at the way he moves as well, like, with the trail behind him. I'm guessing we just got to push on. Oh, level up, okay. Now, I, I have been told as well that there is a lot of RPG elements to this game as well, which obviously I love, because I love RPGs. I love the way he sort of just, like, turns. Okay, bats, that's cool. Okay. Oh, pot roast, what's that? Is that a... Castlevania pot roast. I'm guessing that's a healing item. It's food, so I'm guessing it's healing. Okay. Is the other side breakable? It is, but there's nothing there. 
Oh, okay, what's down here? Apart from pain and death. Oh, okay, what are these guys? A monster vial. Um, summons a merman ally. Oh! Alright, we'll go through here. There's going to be a lot of me discovering, by the way. This is completely blind, this, this Let's Play, so you have to bear with me. Now, we've got a lot of stuff equipped to us. I'm guessing, again, it's given us the feeling of being all-powerful, but I'm guessing that's going to change. Well, we just want to get used to the controls. That soundtrack is so good. Oh, okay. What is your business here? to put an end to this. I'm an really insolent boy, but there will be no games here. If you will not behave, be gone. I will do neither. Step aside, old man. <laughs> Such arrogance. Very well. But I shall see you very soon. And there, there it is. I think we've had all, have we just had all our gear taken off? Yeah, we've lost everything. So we're down to our fists, which is not good. Can we get up there? No? Okay. Now, guys, you know I'm a big advocate for game soundtracks, and I've been told this is one of the best. So, and so far, spot on. You've got, like, rock opera mixed with, um, mixed with synth. It's just really cool. Oh. Oh, that jump in. Oh, hello. There was a ledge there. Can we get there? Have we found something already? Yeah, this jumping takes a little bit of getting used to, guys. So it's very slick and it's very smooth. So you have to bear with... I'm assuming we can... Yeah, we can get to that. I'm sure we can. What about if I jump down to get some more distance? Now... Castlevania games, from the bits I've researched, are all about exploration. So, you'll have to forgive me for wanting to explore. Yes, we can get down here. Ooh, what's that? Heart max. Okay, so we've got a maximum amount of hearts we can hold. I love that trail that Alucard has. That's awesome. There we go. So yeah, I'm going to want to explore quite a bit, so you'll have to bear with me. But uh, if you have any hints, tips, or anything like that, just let me know. Obviously, I don't want spoilers per se, but I do want hints and tips. So if you've got anything to give me, then... Okay, we've got our first enemy here. Let's punch, let's punch him out. Oh, a short sword. Let's equip that, then. That does put our attack strength up, which is pretty cool. Let's head down here first and have a look. Okay, we've got an impassable door. We'll note that for later. There's going to be a lot of that, by the way. Doors that are impassable. I love the background effects as well. Like You can see like loads of steps behind us. Oh, red rust. What's the lot about then? A rusty red sword, two-handed. But it puts our attacks down. Weirdly. Hmm. Okay, we'll leave it for now. Let's check this room here. Oh, okay, I think this is the save room. <coughs> Got it. Now, guys, like I said before, I really super enjoy games like Blasphemous and Hollow Knight, so I think I'm gonna have an absolute blast with this one. But again, like, um, I've just, we've just finished Okami. And I didn't know how long that was. And same with this. It could be a... Uh, what's this? Cuba Zoe. It could be a 10-hour game. It could be a 20-hour game. I don't know. So if anyone knows, let me know. What's the Cube of Zoe? Is it in relics? Yes, yeah, in relics. Causes items to materialise. Is that like when we break candles and stuff? I wonder. I'm assuming it's not going to be just random items. So we can only go this way. Oh, I love this as well. This is the way they did loading back in, in, in this game. They had uh, loading corridors. Love it. 
Oh, like alchemy laboratory. Okay. Okay, we got some we got some stuff going on. Okay, can we deal with you? Yes, we can. Yeah, it's causing items to come out of. Um, I'm assuming that's for that. Oh, a hide cuirass. That is armor. A cuirass is like a vest, uh, effectively. Oh, you've got to be careful then in this game because traps can be triggered by anything. Okay. More skelly bobs. Okay, time you jump. Okay, that lowers that. Nice. Oh, a shield. Nice. Okay, let's put that on as well. So I'm assuming that's our other attack button. That is circle. There we go. We can go up here too. Okay, we need to use the shield. Oh, what are you? What do you do? Oh, hello. Okay, so touching does hurt. Easy enough. Now, we haven't got a sub-weapon yet, so I can't use anything else at the moment. What's going on here, then? Oh, I see. So if we kill him on that button... Oh, I wonder if we can just jump from... No, we can't. Okay. Ah. Well, what's over here? Oh, another save room. Cool. Okay, let's, let's save. Because saving, by the looks of it, it does restore your health as well. So that's, that, that's good. Okay, I'm not sure how to get up there. Now, I learned this with 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 with, with Hollow Knight. It, you, sometimes you just can't get to places yet, and that's fine. So maybe we just can't get up there yet. Okay, we'll move on for now. We'll come back to it. Oh, okay. Saving respawns. It's good to know. Good to know. Ooh, a sub weapon. Nice. And you can see it's draining my hearts one by one. So that's good to know. Oh, bugger. Oh. Well, that was a complete accident. We've got hidden rooms in Castlevania, it would seem. Worth knowing. So basically, check everything. <laughs> Which is great, because I've been told the map for this place is humongous. <laughs> Resist thunder. I can only guess what that does. Okay. What are you when you're at home? Okay, we can't get up there. I wonder if we can use the box. Maybe we can raise it up. Nice. Oh, okay. Uh, okay, I don't want to explore too far because we're off the critical path, I think, but... Oh, another hidden room. Cloth cape. Nice. I really like the way Alucard sort of just turns. That's really cool. Well made, but shabby looking. Oh, I love the fact that our cape actually changes colour. That's cool. Okay, I want to grab that because that's a big heart. Oh, we've hit our max. So 64 is our max. Oh. Okay, so just hitting a new room actually respawns all the enemies. That's, that's good to know. 
Okay, they're actually not too bad. The providing you don't get hit, of course. Oh, poison, okay. So what, does, what does poison do? Oh, damn, we're getting absolutely trashed. Oh, that's lucky. Does that heal poison as well, I wonder? Save rooms seem to be, you know, quite frequent at the moment. Okay, it still looks like we're poisoned, which is a bit of a pain. So what can we do about that? Apart from not a lot. <laughs> okay. Oh, we've got the axe. Okay, that's a new sub-weapon. Magically sealed. Okay, I'm guessing we can't go through there just yet then. I don't know if this poison's worn off or not. I don't know how to check. Uh, no, status is poison. Can we do anything about that? Castlevania pot roast. Sausage and Risen to Thunder. I don't think there's a lot we can do about it at the moment. Ooh. Whenever a door locks behind you, you know it's probably going to end somewhat badly. Oh, the st poison's gone. It's time-based. Okay, that's fine. What we got? I can hear something. Oh. Ooh. Have we got a boss fight, ladies and gentlemen? Okay. You will have to forgive me, by the way. Oh, that's how the axe goes. Okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, you can duck under their attacks. That's fine. It's good to know. The axe is actually really helpful here because it goes in a sort of a crescent, but it does take a lot of hearts off us. Okay, is he done? Oh, okay, yeah, we've annoyed him. Whoa! <coughs> wow! Yeah, it's taking four off us a time. That's a lot. Oh, Jesus. Okay, so we can sort of lay into him. Well, okay. Yeah, we can lay into him while we're ducking. So that's, that's a good strategy for them. And you'd have to forgive me. I, I don't know what these guys' names are or anything. Uh, I didn't want to look anything up before we started. So if you uh, if you know the name, stick it in the comments. Uh, I want to pay each boss. It's, uh, it, it's due. Uh, and we're up to 80 health because uh, we leveled up and we had a we had a max health up as well. So I'd say we're doing pretty well so far. I think we've just dealt with our first boss. Oh, okay. Is that taking us? Oh, crap. I don't want to go to a new area just yet. So I'm going to... I'm going to explore vertically first, and then... Okay, save room, fine. We'll do a bit more exploring. This initial episode will be fairly short. I want to give you guys a taste of what Symphony of the Night is like. And also, I want to get a taste of it myself, because like I said, I know nothing. If you like this, and you want to see more of it, literally all you have to do is hit that like button. It takes you five seconds. So please do that for me, and we will make sure that we'll bring you more uh, Symphony of the Night. Okay, so height matters in this game. But at the moment, it does feel like playing Blasphemous, I'll be honest. Which is good, because that's what those sort of games were based upon, right? 
Oh, a cloth tunic. Is that better than what we have? Um, no, it's worse. Plus it's been on his stinky body, so... Oh, a new weapon. Oh. Oh, that's useful. Oh, no poison again. Okay, he takes one heart off us, which is surprising. I wonder what poison actually does, because it's not actually, like, doing anything to our health. Not directly, anyway. What's this? Oh, okay, that's a new area. I don't want to go there just yet. I want to explore this whole area first. Okay. Okay, you have more health. For some reason. Um, whoa. Why are you only doing three? The last guy was doing six. Oh, I get it. I get it. I get it. I get it. That's what poison does. It makes you hit less and makes them hit harder. Which is... Okay, that's a new sub-weapon. Yeah, that's lethal fighting them in such a confined area. Okay, nothing here. Nothing here. Let's go back round and explore those rooms that we missed before we move on to the next area. Oh, poisoned again. I'm guessing it doesn't affect our sub-weapons, so... I guess why would it? It's out of, literally out of our hands, isn't it? Oh, dang it. Oh, dang it, I'm back here again. Okay. We're a little low on health, so gotta be careful. Let's time this. Oh, dang it. Those guys are annoying. Like the little whirly things. That's their new name, Whirly Things. Oh, dang it. Okay. Whoa. I don't want to risk getting hit, because I don't know how, hit, how hard these guys hit. But I don't want to go using healing items either. Okay, pretty hard, I'd say. the cloth tunic. We don't need that. It seems that like the poison's finally worn off. Yeah, because these guys only take like three hits when they're um, when we're not poisoned. So that's quite interesting. And I am very aware that our health is very low. Okay. Let's go through here, because this could be a whole new area, but... It's not a loading corridor, it's a, uh... Ooh, okay. These pillar ones I can't get off at, but... I guess it's gonna take us somewhere. Ooh. Ooh, okay. Sunglasses, is that an equipable? Ah, yes. For some reason puts our intelligence down, but it does increase our uh, our, our, our um, defense. So I, I think that's a that's something I can live with. 
I like the fact if you hold up, uh, Alucard grabs his cape and pulls it across. It's like, <laughs> I am the king of the elevator. Cool. That was cool. Sort of a long way to go just for an item, but that's that's fine. That's the nature of the beast. Now, there's a save room here, which is good. Because it means we can heal. Okay. Let's move on a little bit. I don't want to go too much further, but I do want to explore a little more. And I want to take a little look at this new area. Or what looks like a new area, anyway. So far, I've definitely learned that the enemies hit hard. Oh, Jesus, didn't mean to do that. Okay, I don't want to get poisoned again. I like that weapon. It's cool. Oh, they're coming the other way now. Of course they are. Of course. Okay. Touching them doesn't poison you. It's just that drop that they do. So as long as I stay behind it, I'll be all right. Oh, money. Okay, let's go in here. I feel like we've explored that area quite well. A marble gallery. Oh, another sub weapon. Oh, okay. Cool music. Oh, okay. I've never faced two at once, so. Oh, jeez. And this is why. Okay. More of them. Actually managed to take one out without taking any damage. That's nice. Ooh. Okay, I'm guessing this is just a black... Yeah, it's just a throwing dagger. Whoa! Okay. Jesus. Let's see what's in here. Oh, it's a save room. Awesome. Okay, we'll we're taking a, a bit more of a look around, and then uh, and then we'll probably call it an episode, because we, we, we've seen a boss straight away, or I believe to be a boss. We've got the basis of the story, haven't we? So I think that's enough to go on. But like I said, guys, if you want to see more Symphony, hit that button. That looks just... I'm like suspicious of everything now because walls apparently are breakable. Okay, he looked like he was going to throw something. So I'm guessing we're going to see a lot more... Uh, yeah, like a boomerang. Fairly weak, but not to be underestimated. Okay, so we can't swing our sword upwards. It just uses the uh, sub-weapon instead. God, there's a lot of like... Whoa, what are you? Jesus. Okay, three at a time. That's good to remember. However, I definitely want to know what you are, and I want to know how hard you are to kill. Some sort of possessed doll? With a pretty horrific screech, it would seem. 
great. Okay, about three hits with the short sword. Level up. Pretty nice. Smart potion. What's so smart about it, though? Temporarily increases intelligence. Hmm. We're in pretty good shape. Is that like a crack to you? No? Alright. Like I said, I am super suspicious of everything. Grab as many hearts as possible. Whoa! Oh, Jesus. That's abusable. Whoa! I got abused by the person I was abusing. <laughs> oh my dear god. So that's just a straight game over. There's no continues. I'm guessing I'm going back to the save save room. Um, <laughs> wow. Oh, guys, this game's wild. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going back to the we're going back to the save room. Wow. We've already done 10% of the map, in fairness, but I'm guessing that's not a lot, considering. <laughs> so, guys, look, I'm going to... That's a good place to leave off, actually. You saw a little bit of C Castlevania Symphony in the Night, and I really hope you're going to enjoy this, but I won't do it unless you support it, so... I need to get as many likes and comments on this as possible. And if you know anything about Castlevania, let me know. Like I said, don't let me don't, don't, don't have any spoilers. I know there's a Netflix series. I'm going to go watch it. Um, but uh, I'm going to watch it periodically between recording. So, um, like I say, if you want to see more of this, smash the like button, comment, and I will see you hopefully for more Castlevania. But like I said, it's completely in your hands, guys. Thank you very much for joining me. Take care and look after yourself. Bye-bye for now.